I gotta start this uh, video off by showing you the schematic of this little Melodier Deluxe amplifier built back in the 50s which is what the documentation of this thing is going to be pretty much all about with a little bit added in I gotta show you this look at this okay it has a microphone input uh, two instrument inputs with volume control for each one into a 12 ax 7 but we'll jump quickly over to the way the phase inversion of this thing 6v6 plate to the output transformer same down here looks pretty push-pull huh center tap back to the power supply the power supply got a voltage divider in here and comes up and feeds the screen and feeds this screen through a resistor this screen feeds to control grid the control grid is grounded to a 470k and a 0 0.01 very odd huh see look there's no this stage output goes through volume and tone right back into the stage of the second one so it's got no phase inverter drives one so we're taking a signal off of the screen of the top tube that's driven by our voltage amplifier and driving the grid the control grid of the second one from the screen grid of the top very very odd indeed and not only that but see we we lowered the voltage right here I wish I had made some voltage measurements but I didn't and uh, the, the screen is going to be running at a considerably uh, lower potential than the plate running it more like a tetrode very novel way of doing it and it has some very interesting characteristics that's what this video is about now this is at 100 Hertz 99 here is its uh, fundamental there's its second harmonic third fourth fifth fifth and a half <laughs> okay <laughs> it's kind of what it says huh see we're 50 Hertz per division Right there's 100 hertz, so on start. So there's our fundamental 50, there's 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600 just right off the scale. And it's a little triangular there in the oscilloscope. Spectral output, frequency, voltage across 8 ohms at 13% THD. Okay, here's our harmonic profile at uh, 500 hertz, 2.88 volts, 2.9 volts, 5.25% distortion. There we go, there's 500, and we're sweeping at uh, half kilohertz per division, so there's 500, 1015, descending order, second harmonic predominant, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So that. Oscilloscope looks great. There's our. I don't see too much uh, triangulation in the uh, sine wave. Looks pretty good. So there we go. Oscilloscope, spectrum, frequency, voltage and THD at 500 hertz. There's our spectral output at a kilohertz, 974. We're not going to split hairs, but. There's so fundamental, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, descending order. There's our spectral output there. And that's at uh, about four volts, so that'd be uh, 16 divided, that's two watts at 8.6%. There's its oscilloscope. Oscilloscope, spectrum. Frequency. All right. There we go. Let's go to another frequency. Okay. Now we have two kilohertz. There's our two kilohertz. Here's our spectrum. We have it at start. Two kilohertz at start. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. We've got the whole audio spectrum there. Beginning at two. In descending order. There's our power. Uh, 5.6 squared across um, 8 at 16.7 percent. There is our oscilloscope view of it. 
Here it is again on the other oscilloscope. Sometimes one's a little better than the other. That's at 2 kilohertz. We're just going to keep creeping up here a little bit until uh, we document this whole thing. Okay, here we are at 3 kilohertz. And the There's our spectrum. The oscilloscope. 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. 6 volts. 6.6 .6 across 8 ohms. 20%. 20% THD. Our, uh, there's our. And the left hand oscilloscope, you see the distortion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you it's can you can see quite a bit of anomalies in there, but, but our flipping. our predominant harmonic is always the second. Okay, we do one more here. Here are our fundamental frequencies: four kilohertz, four, six, eight. So there we go. Same thing, over and over and over, all the way down. That is, uh, appears to be, here's our uh, oscilloscope, what it looks like. 6.8 volts, 20% THD. That seems to be uh, the pattern, the recurrent pattern of uh, this little beauty right here. Get, get the glare off of it. If we need to show it, it runs a pair of uh, 6V6s, 5Y3. 12 AX7 yes. over here. A couple of, uh, I guess, 8 inch speakers. We've got them disconnected across our load right now, across these 8 ohm loads up there. And there it is. Made by Magna Electronics, Electronics. Inc. out of California back in the 54, 1954 or so. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, now here's the harmonic profile of the of this big um, Fender uh, Twin Reverb. Very different now, and, and this amplifier overdrive is very different too. It's, it's actually quite good there. Uh, it clips very symmetrical. The amplifier is doing technically a great job. Uh, it doesn't have that out of shape um, sine wave that, that the uh, other little amp has. And here's its harmonic profile. See over here is its, um, its fundamental. The second harmonic is suppressed like you would think it is. Let's see, we're running at one kilo, we're running at a kilohertz and one kilohertz per sweep. If I get this thing exactly centered, we've got some. Uh, wow, this thing is really interesting. Let's put it like this. Okay, there's our fundamental right there. Let's remove it and we'll we'll make it certain it went away. Okay, yeah. Okay, there's our fundamental, there's our second harmonic down, which, which we might expect. Okay, there's our first, second, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's look at the whole shebang there, all the way out to 20 kilohertz. It's fraught with harmonics, but a very different, very, very different. This is a kilohertz. We're running at eight. We're running a lot of power. Only 3.8 percent distortion too. Uh, and that's what it looks like. Actually, it looks good. And there is its harmonic profile all the way at the 20 kilohertz. Very different. Let's distort it a little bit more. Let's overdrive it up to about 10 percent. There we go. There's 10 percent. That's a uh, 20 squared, which is 400 divided by 4 ohms. Running for that's 100 watts. That's what the profile of a, the big twin reverb fender looks like at 100 watts. Uh, the other little amp had a had, had a de had descending uh, harmonics. Very very different. And there's what it looks like on a oscilloscope. Clipping heavy, a little bit of notch distortion. I'm just trying to make a comparison now. I'm probably going to have to watch this myself several times. So that's the that's a big amp, big modern day. Amp. You see all of it at once, well, almost. This guy right here. Nice amp. And finally, this is an amplifier I built some time ago. It uses that DIY Poseidon board here. I'll show you underneath it. And a couple of KT90s. I put new uh, Hammond transformers in it. That's the output and the power. It's very simple. It uses a tone control, 
This thing right here that I call sound stage is actually feedback. When you got it turned all the way to the left, you practically got a hi-fi amp. When you got it to the right, you've got a, a musical amp, or at least more so. Master volume on, off, and standby. Let me flip it over now, show you underneath it. Okay, here underneath, there's the little Poseidon board. Power supply is over here. Here's the diodes. I always shunt my diodes with the one mega ohm resistors. These are the power supply caps. I think they're 220 microfarads each are series with shunts. Uh, one of the things I do that does seem to help is I use a ground bus. It runs around and I ground it all at one point and that's actually over here at the uh, at the input. I got a 4 ohm or 8 ohm output whichever you want and bias point adjustments back here this is the bias pot right here from the top and I use uh, 10 ohm resistors over here in the uh, in the cathode so I can measure cathode current that's pretty much that nothing spectacular there uh, this is my bias transformer over here it's uh, got a 6 volt winding which I run off the filament winding and then I take the 120 volt output and, uh, and create my bias voltage which is actually right down here that's the bias supply right there so let's turn it back over hook it up and see how it looks okay here we go with this amp uh, there's its harmonic profile running it the same as a while ago there's the, the kilohertz looks a lot like, somewhat like, the uh, Fender. 27 volts across 8 ohms, that's 91 watts at 10%. It squares off nice and symmetrical. See it's notch in there. I'm overdriving it heavily. I'm overdriving it at, at uh, 10%. If we back it down second this is at two kilohertz per let's put it at one since we're running at one second harmonic is actually still kind of high third harmonic is offensive i don't like that now let me show you what i did this thing i call sound stage is actually feedback this has got very little feedback right now and it really opens it up and makes it sound alive if you start uh my kitty cat's got to figure this one out if i start cranking more feedback into it. If I put, I'll just put maximum feedback. There we go. Now I have uh, down at 0.1 percent at five volts. I'm gonna have to drive it a lot harder. But even when we drive it up into clipping again here, our distortion stays very low. So essentially, we have a a hi-fi amp here now. And uh, there's what that looks like. But we still have the third harmonic fundamental second third fourth fifth probably would not be the most pleasing amp probably would not but it does have the second one suppressed which um, seems to have been the goal many long years ago when they developed push pull was to suppress that harmonic I guess we had engineers that think like we do now and we're trying to make it pure, but it seems like in making it pure, if we do make it pure, it seems like it's not a musical creation amplifier anymore. So uh, if the little uh, Melodian Deluxe Amp is what we're looking for, then we're looking for the whole range of harmonics in a, in a descending pattern. And of course, if I crank the, the uh, feedback back out of here, I'll put it halfway. Our gain goes up enormous. Well, I'm way overdriving it now. That's 23%. We got, we got to turn it back down to something sane. There's our harmonics again. I guess I just can't get enough of measuring this silly stuff. And then if we crank it all the way out, then it changes not a whole lot more. But there she be, for what it's worth. Hope you enjoy these uh, these adventures, and uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just just documenting things and, and trying to figure out. I'm actually trying to get something visual 
that um, can be uh, objectively compared to other things. Say hello, kitty cat. 